Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Aquarius. So the overarching sort of theme and loving ancestor advice coming through in this reading related to 2023 is that 2023 is about a journey for you of sort of putting yourself back together after experiencing incredible, incredible dramas and traumas um, and disappointments in relationships and essentially how to find joy in the midst of chaos. And there's a sort of higher lesson that many of these sort of chaotic, traumatic, and dramatic events that have recently happened or that will happen in 2023 are absolutely about trying to catalyze a journey of mindfulness for you and to take a break in some ways from being so incredibly focused on your goals and validation and even achievement related to your public life and external validation and external goals, right? And this isn't to say not to continue to be ambitious, but that with some of the things that you recently experienced, some of it has been about trying to yeah, trying to catalyze you into this journey of mindfulness, understanding that it's okay not to be okay, and for you to seek out a particular kind of lifestyle and a sort of sense of spirituality and connection with your sort of inner self, your divine self, spiritual teachings that support you being able to stay centered despite anything that may be happening around you and where the sort of intuition and discernment that develops also continues to support you in you navigating relationships because some of the things that have happened and will happen have certainly, certainly um, been related to betrayal trauma where there is certainly a wound of distrust for you now um, and trying to now configure how you will navigate boundaries, um, maintaining a vulnerability and an openness to collaboration versus completely, completely shutting down and um, not ever trusting again, right? And so it's about you perhaps traveling and disconnecting and, you know, engaging in isolation that is necessary for you to sort of drown out the noise and to escape healthily while you put yourself back together um, so that you do come back stronger, right? But healed and whole and with a mature understanding and accountability related to decisions that you made related to relationships, how maybe your discernment wasn't the best in the past, so that, you know, you go forward now having learned that lesson and you release it and you take it for what it was and what it was supposed to teach you, right? And so much of that is sort of represented in the cards with the uh, morality card being here um, and the schizophrenia card being here and then the traveling card being here. And this is about, right, these sort of experiences where you've had um, in that Jupiter and Aries astrology in 2023 year ahead reading that I did for you, um, the theme certainly suggested that having courage, um, dealing with court proceedings and judgments and choices 
where there were betrayals and goodness, all sorts of dramas and traumas um, involved was, you know, something that was sort of on the docket for you, right? And that these sort of things caused, you know, have caused wounds, have really destabilized your mental health in many ways. And um, the forgiveness of our self card and even the spiritual warrior card and in the tarot cards in the bottom row here, we have, you know, the Empress in reverse, the Queen of Cups and then the Justice, right? So it's all about this journey of putting yourself back together, finding forgiveness for yourself, taking accountability and just healing moving forward with a deeper discernment. So I'm going to read the forgiveness of ourselves card for you. And it says, when something goes wrong, even if the circumstances were out of our control, or we did the very best that we could possibly do, we can still carry guilt after the event. The gift of guilt is to help us to learn and to develop a conscience, not to carry as a ball and chain for the rest of our lives. Listen to the learning and forgive yourself for not being perfect. Release any guilt today. Okay, and the giving and receiving in the collaborate card here are definitely talking about how boundaries were crossed, right? In maybe close working relationships or close love and platonic friendships and just, yeah, just deep relationships that you had, right? Where, you know, boundaries were crossed and trust has been, you know, broken. And this being a part of this, this being this sort of divine catalyst in your spiritual warrior journey. So I want to read the Indian cross message for you. And it says, the Indian cross announces the start to a great journey. It's time to raise your gaze from the mundane day to day to that which until now has seemed beyond your grasp. Allow new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it all before you respond with a resounding yes. So this is definitely about traveling, taking time off, <laughs> and about the spiritual yes of surrender, right? It's this is about surrender. This is about surrender. And definitely check out the Jupiter and Aries reading that I did for you because it gives some more detail into the astrology that is certainly affecting some of these hardships that you are facing where you know, these hardships in particular are um, sort of destabilizing your mental health, your mental emotional health, and about pointing you in the direction of a sort of spiritual journey. There is astrology that is involved in this, right? So um, with the Justice card, the Queen of Cups card here, it's definitely about healing the heart is definitely about this spiritual warrior journey that is meant to enhance your discernment and your heart healing going forward where in relationships in the future you will be able to um, ordeals and betrayals that you may have experienced right or where even your own sort of bad judgment calls um errors and discernment right were a part of anything that transpired it's like it was a lesson it was a lesson it was necessary be grateful for what you know now and heal it release it don't let it have any power over you okay and don't feel any shame about anything okay that is certainly the sort of overall message for you. And the spiritual warrior card, it says, the pathway of the spiritual warrior and the calling of your soul. And it says, 
sometimes the collaborate card reads, sometimes we are called to develop our self-sufficiency, and this can be a valuable road to travel in the discovery of our unique and individual gifts. But this is not the same as trying to do everything yourself all of the time. This is not a time to go it alone. It is time to unite and work with others. And so definitely lean on the people that you love and do trust to help you get through anything this year. And again, do that deep healing work so that your healthy, healed heart, your sort of acceptance, surrender, and development of deep discernment um, allows you to continue to work well with others in the future as opposed to completely shutting down and not being open to collaboration at all in your life in the future, right? Causing you to miss out on any blessings, right? So, So we're going to close out this reading with your angel number message that came through and provide just a beautiful wrap up for your reading. So the angel number that came through for you is number 606. Okay, so six carries the vibrations of love of home and family, responsibility and reliability, providing for the self and others, caring and nurturing others. Six resonates with personal willpower, independence, initiative, problem solving, and overcoming obstacles, expressing and embodying grace and gratitude. Okay, and then zero represents the universal energies, the beginning of a spiritual journey, and stands for potential and or choice. And that definitely aligns with the sort of symbology of the Andean cross and its teachings as well, okay? And so it's about cycles and flow and the beginning point. And 606 says to focus less on the material aspects and any financial issues of life and look to a more spiritual approach to having your wants and needs met. Simply hold faith, trust, and gratitude as gratitude lifts your sense of what is enhancing, uplifting, and positive. And it says, trust yourself to make the best decisions for you and your life and be open to ideas, signs, and new opportunities that will bring your material needs to you. This number encourages you to keep your focus on love, light, and the spiritual aspects of life and give any fears or concerns about your situations to the angels for healing and transmutation. Trust that all you need will be supplied by the universe in divine right time. And this number also suggests that issues to do with family and loved ones will be sorted and resolved to the advantage of all involved. Love comes to life when we both give and receive with grace and gratitude. Recognize your capacity to affect other people's lives in positive ways and enjoy your relationships and the companionship of those close to you and give love freely and unconditionally. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, Aquarius, so I definitely hope that that was helpful and that 2023 and this spiritual warrior journey that you are being called to journey on is incredibly healing for you and um, I wish you safe travels. (laughs) If you are traveling for respite, traveling for rest and renewal and healing and also traveling inward to Reconnect with yourself and connect with oneness and wholeness, okay? Definitely subscribe and like this video. Check out the rest of the videos that are linked below and that are on the page. And um, take care of your hearts.